Number one, the discrete random variable x has the following probability distribution function. Okay, so you've got four points, two, four, seven, ten with respective probabilities. And quick note, all probabilities here must always add up to one. Okay, and for any other x value, for example, three or five, etc., the probability value is zero because they've all been defined. So that's an important uh, rule to take in. Now, the cumulative distribution function of x is fx. Cumulative means that you add the properties as you go along. For example, if they told you to find the function at 4, this means you add all the known properties up to 0.4, so a plus b. If it's somewhere in between like 3, remember that 3 here would fill under this other, which is 0. So the only value you would have is, up, is 2 and 3, which means a plus 0, so it would just be a, and so on. Okay, so we know that f3 here is 0 0.2 and f6 is 0 0.8. So F3 means up until 3, so it will just mean A only. So the probability of A is equal to 0 0.2, so we can call that uh, this value 0 0.2. And F6 equals 0 0.8, so probability is up until 6, so that includes 2 and 4 only, because the value 6 would be 0, so it would be A plus B is 0 0.8. So that means it must be 0 0.6, because these two must make 0 0.8. Now, yep, so A is done, so <laughs> write down the value of F7. F7 just means you add along. So it would just be A plus B plus 0 0.1, which will equal to 0 0.9. And of course, C must be 0 0.1, because adding all these properties will give us 1. And that's it, guys. That's literally the end of the question.